Hello, happy people, and welcome to your Moment of Zed, the YouTube channel dedicated to the most beautiful car in the world, the BMW Z3, or as the folks in Castlebar call it, the Z3. I'm Mark, and today we're kind of going to go back near something we did a few months ago. If you remember, I replaced the throttle cable bushing, a problematic part for many people. And while I was down there, I noticed that the accelerator pedal bushings were shot as well. So we're gonna go down, change those. We're gonna have to wedge ourselves up into the tow box again, but it should be a pretty inexpensive, fairly easy repair, I hope. But first we have three Zeds of the week. First up, we have Phil from the UK who has two Zeds. First, a 1997 2.8 liter automatic Roadster in Boston metallic green with 115,000 miles. He's done a full respray on the car, put in a new rear trailing arm, and changed all the fluids. Next up is a new soft top. His second Z is a 1998 1.9 liter five-speed Roadster in Montreal blue metallic with 128,000 miles. He's put on new sills and new rear quarter panels, changed all the fluids, and next up is a new radio. And last but not least, Schwinn from Massachusetts with his 2000 2.5 liter 5 speed Roadster, which was a salvage titled car that he's had for about two months now. He's done the seat bushings, seat belt guides, put on coilovers, rear spacers, halo headlights, and a rear spoiler. Sounds like quite a project. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for sharing your beautiful cars. If you'd like to see your car on Zed of the Week, please follow the easy instructions in the description below. Now on to those bushings. Okay, so the parts we're going to be using today, we're going to need two accelerator rod bushings. Uh, those are these bigger bushings right here. You're going to need two of those. And you see the part number. And we're going to need one support bushing, this is called. And you can see the part number there. Uh, both of these parts are a couple dollars each. I got them from ECS Tuning. There's other sources. I'll put the ECS Tuning link in the description. Okay, a couple things before we get started. Uh, I wedged the throttle plate again with a block of wood. Uh, you can see a little more detailed in my throttle cable bushing video. There's just a cover there. And then I wedged it to take that pressure off the cable. Okay, so moving into the cockpit, uh, what you're looking at is the knee bolster panel. Now, this project would probably be easier if I removed that. Removing is just a matter of taking out the screws, but the screws are under these screw covers. And if you've ever dealt with the Z3 on the interior, uh, those things are hard, they're not hard to remove. They're hard to remove without damaging the dash area around them and the cover itself. And those are like $4 each, believe it or not to get them, which is just crazy to me, but it is what it is. What I did already remove is the uh, toe plate cover, which is a black plastic cover. Now, if you need to know how to do that, uh, check out my video about the throttle cable bushing, uh, link in the description, and that was right here. Uh, but that will uncover the area we want to work in, which is the accelerator pedal assembly. Now. I was thinking about doing the clutch pedal and the brake pedal bushings too because as you can see from the side to side movement uh, they're both uh, probably need to be replaced. I do have the parts uh, but again really to do that you have to remove this and then there's a metal crash plate below that. Uh, I just don't have the time to do it today so today we're going to concentrate on that assembly there and let me go ahead and zoom in and we'll talk about that. But what we're going to do is we basically need to remove this clip uh, on the side and, and of course access is terrible but we should be able to get that then one of those big bushings sits here at the end of the accelerator rod uh, the other big bushing sits here it's completely gone which is why I have this uh, metal to metal here and then the support bushing, which actually still exists, is kind of stuck into the spring at the end of the rod. So I need to get all that out of there. Uh, and you can see 
up top is the accelerator or the throttle cable bushing which we already replaced that was a lot of fun take a look at that video we will give you some insight into working under here but we need to basically pull this rod out uh, to get to those bushings to do that we've got to remove this clip which I'll make an attempt to zoom in on there we go so I use the pick tool from the peroxy kit there it is to spin this clip so you can have access to the sides you see kind of a, an area in here a hole and it's really not what it is a lobe and there's two of them a bigger one and a smaller one and actually I just, I just study this on the internet but uh, if you put a needle nose if you put a needle nose in there again excuse the shaky cam as you know if you've worked under here you got to wedge yourself in put a needle nose in here and twist it you'll lift the clip up that's actually attached to the rod and then I should be able to slide it down filming it may be difficult you may only see my arm but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take a small needle nose pliers and stick them in there there we go I've twisted and that's lifted the clip up and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and slide the clip down so you can see I've lifted up that on that clip as I twist the needle nose let's give that a shot holy smokes it came out it came right out so there's the detail on that clip and again, I put that in the small lobe, twisted and pulled down at the same time, and now it's free. That might be hopefully the hardest part of this job. Okay, next step we need to do is obviously slide the rod over and remove it. So to do that, you need to step on the gas, and step on the gas, push the throttle down because the, the top of the uh, arm has to clear the, the uh, steering tube. So once you do that, Again, filming under here. Once you do that, you should be able to move the whole thing over, and then that will pop loose like that. And then I just have to uh, get that spring off that side, and I think we'll probably there we go pull that pull the top part of the spring from the arm that'll start to release the tension on it and then we can just go ahead and move it over and there it's all loose and we have access to the whole thing so again you had to push the gas pedal down for lack of a better term to get the top of the arm to clear the steering tube and then you could just slide it to the left unhook the uh, the top part of the spring and that kind of gives you access to move it over and that'll take it off uh, the bottom part there and you can see the support bushing and it's actually not completely shot but we're gonna replace that obviously while we're under here so let's go ahead and do that now I'm gonna clean this up too kind of looks like there's some lithium grease on here uh, I may just put a, a light coating on there as well. Okay, so I pulled the spring all the way out and I'm just going to replace the support bushing. There's the old one, there's the new one. The old one's actually not even brittle. It's, it's okay, but uh, for two bucks, just go ahead and insert that in the end. And then when we put the rod back through there, that will support the end of that spring and we'll go from there. Okay, so did some work off camera because all you would have seen was the would be in the back of my hands again. But uh, what I did is I put the new bushing in here and I put some lithium grease on the inside of it because it appeared to have had some from the factory. Uh, I coated the inside of the metal ring with a little, just a little bit of dishwashing liquid uh, to make this slide in easier and again this is the larger flange side which is the way it was in the factory smaller flange here all I had to do was finger push it and it clicked in uh, carpeting will interfere with you a little bit but it was actually pretty easy to do so 
Uh, sorry I couldn't show it, there's just no way to film that. But that side's in, so now we'll work on the other side. Okay, and same technique with the second bushing on the left side bushing, uh, a little bit of lithium grease inside the bushing, a little bit of uh, dishwashing detergent on the inside of the metal ring, and just push it through till it clicks. And we should be good to reinstall this rod. I'm going to put some lithium grease on the rod first. Okay, put some lithium grease on the accelerator rod. Uh, put the spring back on with the support bushing. Now it should just be a matter of putting this side in, compressing the spring to the left, and then putting the clip side in, and then uh, resetting the spring. So hopefully it'll be that simple. Again, I won't be able to show this on camera because it's going to be, uh, it, it obviously is the back of my hand. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and do this. And if it works, uh, I'll be very happy. Okay, so actually that went fairly easily. The problem I have now though is I have a spring with no tension. Uh, and had I put tension on it and tried to hook it uh, up under here, uh, I don't think I would have been able to uh, maneuver everything else together and push it on. So what I got to try and do is load up the spring as it sits. Okay, took a break for breakfast and that helped clear my mind and figure this out. To get that spring tension back on, uh, this part of the spring, I actually pulled off the arm and put it back up here. Uh, just kind of rested it behind the arm so it would take tension off the entire spring. Then for the bottom, uh, for the left side hook, I basically, you know, that was sitting up top here. So I pushed it around with my finger and then I used uh, the hook pick from the Peroxy kit. Again, link in the description. Grabbed it without poking my finger and then pulled it up and over uh, the metal ring that holds the bushing, snapped that back down, and then pulled this down also with the same hook tool and around the, uh, the arm, the accelerator arm itself. And now we have beautiful, nice, smooth, uh, function on the accelerator pedal very happy with that so uh you know even the spring thing once i worked it out was not all that difficult almost forgot second last step uh put the clip back on and you're gonna put that on exactly in reverse of the way it came off so hopefully this will just be a finger push find the slot be careful about not dropping it because it will slip underneath that carpeting and there we go heard the click and just we'll double check and make sure it spins on there like it did when I moved it yep it's spinning on there so that is right where it needs to be good to go I'm also going to put the uh, tow box cover back in because I'm not going to be up under here for a while with any luck uh, although I, I will eventually get to these other pedal bushings and last step, take the block out of the throttle plate, gently put that back, and put the cover on, tighten up the screw. We're done. Well, folks, there you have it. Fairly simple, as I said. If you found this content valuable, as always, please crush that like button. And until next time, remember, friends don't let friends drive boring.